Hey guys, my name is Bryce, and today I'm going to show you an improved design by Mumbo Jumbo. So his design right here was for an automated industrial furnace in which you put the fuel in here or there, and with the hoppers, it would go into the furnace, be fully cooked, and if you turned on the clock, it would eventually shoot the item up into here. And I, I really, as soon as I saw this video, I fell in love with this design, and I thought that this is probably one of the most convenient things you could ever make in Minecraft. Uh, but me, being a very low-end computer, this clock kind of lagged me out a bunch of times. And I really, I love this design, but I didn't want to stop using it. So I tried to look up ways to improve it. And I, the only way I could think of improving it would be to somehow try to figure out how to remove this clock. Uh, so I looked around for new item, different kinds of item elevators, and I came up with this design. It's uh, just basically comparators powered into the backs of the droppers, and it works the same exact way. You just put the fuel in there, or in there, and it'll cook it, drop it down there, and then shoot it up into that chest. And uh, this is at least for me, this is a lot better performance-wise because this isn't a clock constantly going on and off. These are all powered, even though they don't look powered. And so every time an item goes into goes into one of the droppers, excuse me, uh, it, it'll power it and shoot up into the chest. And th this really saved, it basically saved my performance on my laptop. Whereas here, the clock would always have to be on the entire time, and you would have to turn it off once it was done. And yes, the design, the clock was toggleable, so you could stop the lag if you wanted to. But I like, I was the type of person that I would just come back from mining adventure, put in all the ores, and then walk away and let it cook. And I could still feel the impact to my frame rate. So that's why I decided to improve it the item elevator. Um, and this this item elevator isn't my design. I'm not sure who originally created it, but it is not mine. So now I'll show you how to build it. So what you're going to want to do is first uh, put four droppers and then here at the very bottom get a hopper, put it into that dropper, and then put a hopper going into that hopper. On top of that hopper, no, yes. on top of that, ah, so I can get up there. On top of there, put a furnace, and then leading into the furnace, put one hopper there. Um, a hopper there, and a hopper there. So that's the design without the elevator, and then with the elevator, if I can grab a lever real quickly. Um, the, for the elevator, all you need is a comparator facing in, block, uh, another comparator facing in, uh, another block, and a comparator facing in, and then just two levers always on. And so that's basically the entire machine. You would want uh, trap chests and chests on it. So, um, so like say this would be your floor. You could have chest and a chest and then trap chest and that way they'll be next to each other so they won't go together. And uh, it doesn't matter, you could have two trap chests on the outside and a normal chest on the inside, but I, I prefer having the trap chest on the inside just because uh, if you had it over here, every time you opened it, it would trigger the dropper below it and the click would get annoying every now and then. Uh, so, but the chest orientation doesn't really matter, and once you have it all set up, this would be your fuel, this is where you put in the ores, and this would be the output. Uh, so once again, I'm Bryce, and thanks so much for watching.